Hey, it's Brian Mudd. This is my cheat sheet for Tuesday, September 11th, 11 years later. Somewhere in your thoughts today, take the time to recognize those that uh, were unfortunate victims of that day and those that have made sacrifices defending our freedom 11 years later. On with the cheat sheet. So after the week jobs number on Friday, Manpower conducted a survey of companies about what their outlook for hiring the rest of the year is, and if they aren't hiring, why not? And uh, what we found is that the job market they see is being steady, steady where it is, which is obviously not good. And Manpower cited the, the orders, uh, the, the reasons in this order from companies as to why they're not planning on hiring more right now. Number one, the outcome of November's election. I can tell you they're probably not waiting to see if President Obama is reelected. Uh, number two, or at least that's not the outcome is going to get the thing moving. All right, number two is our fiscal cliff. Uh, the company, the country's deficit as a whole. Uh, the, the looming situation there has companies sitting on their hands. And the final one, European worries. So it's this whole wall of worry that has companies just sitting still. But as we know, based upon that response, we probably aren't going to see much of anything until we know what's going on in November. And companies know, more importantly, what to plan for. It's not necessarily partisanship. It has a lot more to do with trying to understand what policies are going to be in place so that companies can make long-term plans. Um, GoDaddy uh, went down yesterday and took most of the companies that ho have sites that are hosted by GoDaddy with it. There are all kinds of conflicting reports out there. Uh, it looks like Anonymous, one of the largest hacker organizations, was responsible for it. Now, about 5.45 hour time, Eastern time, uh, yesterday, GoDaddy did get the sites back up, but they're saying that uh, no personal information was stolen. So many companies might have lost a good deal of money while their sites were down, but no personal information was stolen from customers of GoDaddy hosted sites uh, or customers of GoDaddy's customers on the hosted sites. Um, iPhone 5 to the rescue. Here's one for you, and this isn't a joke. JP Morgan actually says the iPhone 5 could keep the United States out of recession this fall. No joke. They say that the iPhone 5 has the potential to add a half a percentage point to the overall GDP. They actually have uh, GDP growth for the fourth quarter uh, at about 2%. So that's about a half percent higher uh, just because of the iPhone 5. And they say that if the economy uh, continues to be a little bit weak, iPhone 5 might be the difference between recession and not. Um, and GM, here's one. Not a good situation with GM. They're on the verge this week of the uh, suspending of their Volt plant. Not making any more Volts right now, at least temporarily. And here comes word. Reuters is reporting that for every Volt that has been sold so far, they've lost an average of $49,000. Lost that much. Uh, that is like more than the car sells for at about a sticker price of 40 Now, GM is saying that the Reuters number's off, but they are confirming they lose money on every vehicle. They're saying that they don't anticipate the loss to be anywhere near as big as Reuters is saying because as they sell more volts, the loss is spread across more vehicles. But if you're still losing money on every volt you sell, then even the relative, well, the average might come down because you know maybe you're losing $5,000 for every volt you sell, so it slowly brings down the average. If you're losing money when you're selling a vehicle, well, I mean, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure out those numbers didn't work. All part of the difficulty in trying to rush the vault out the door. The the heart was in the right place. Technology is moving down a path, uh, but they just didn't make a vehicle with a good cost structure to provide good value to their customers or to the company itself. That is the cheat sheet for today. Plenty more on the physical cheat sheet. Check it out. I enjoy yours. We'll see you tomorrow.